English ito magdadagdag pa ako ito. So, i-re-release na ito ngayon. Fresh na fresh. Kayong unang makatanggap ito ng statement. Late last night and into the early hours today, my Vice Chancellor and I have been receiving reports of heightened tension in UP Diliman following social media posts claiming that the handler of a Twitter account called Isco Speak had been abducted and then released with injuries reflected, uh, inflicted on him by the abductors. The alleged victim has not made statements of his own. Kaya ang gamit natin dito ay alleged. Hindi pa siya nagpakita, although uh, may isang kasama niya nagpaano na half an hour ago that they will uh, magano siya, harap siya sa mga vice chancellors. Pero hindi siya handa sa media. No? Uh, neither has he made a physical appearance, but the social media posts have turned viral, including claims that the abduction was retaliation for his having posted leaked screenshots of postings attributed to Upsilon Sigma Phi, expressing rage and threats against LGBTs, women, Muslims, and Lumads. The postings came after protests from LGBT groups against homophobic slurs caught on CCTV video during the violence between Upsilon Sigma Phi and Alpha Phi Beta last week. Alam ninyo na itong CCTV ay sa malapit sa tambayan ng Alpha Phi Beta sa Palma Hall. Accompanying the alleged abduction of the Twitter handler has been a posting again laced with misogynist profanities hurling threats to harm the girlfriend of the Twitter handler. Gusto ko ling banggitin, may column ako ngayon sa Inquirer which is uh, which attacks the earlier misogynist postings. No? Uh, ayoko nang ulitin yung mga nakapost. No? Alam na ninyo yung, yung kabastusan yan. No? Uh, pero itong latest na posting niya na nagbabanta sa girlfriend ng handler ay mas, mas grabe pa. In the light of these events, there have been calls to suspend classes but the administration will not be doing this because to do so is to walk right into the trap laid out by, and I cannot think of any term except terrorists. Mga terrorista yan, no? People who want to intimidate UP Diliman and hold us hostage to fear. While our security forces have been on red alert since last week, we will be deploying more security guards and SSBs, actually, hindi lang will be, uh, na deploy na yan, especially in hot spot areas such as the frat tambayans and colleges with large frat memberships. At kung may ma-identify pa kayong ibang lugar, uh, magano kayo kay BC Jerwin. Uh, we continue to carry on the initiative started last week, which is to get all the facts around the violence, including the physical encounters as well as social media postings leading to the filing of administrative charges. Ang sabi ni BC Jerwin, mukhang kaya ng file sa lunes. No? We are also investigating the abduction report with hopes that the victim will come forward. We have also been meeting with alumni and students from all fraternities, warning them that any more violence will have grave consequences, including expulsion. We are studying additional measures, including for those who are not, who hindi sila ma-expel, pero if they're found guilty of violence, they will be disqualified from entering UP's graduate programs and professional schools, such as law and medicine. My vice chancellors and I are disappointed by the lack of cooperation from the two fraternities. Both were conspicuously absent in a meeting I called for all fraternities, and they claimed later that they did try to attend but arrived late. The fraternity's silence has been deafening. Upsilon's residents now have a statement condemning the violence and the postings, but disclaiming responsibility. We expect both Upsilon and Alpha Phi Beta to take stronger and quick action to root out the scalawags in their ranks and to administer disciplinary action without prejudice to UP's administrative action. Kung pwede, expel nila, pero tuloy ang pagsamba ng UP. I also call on these organizations to re-examine their concept of fraternity honor, which seems to be oriented towards protecting broads, right or wrong, and which comes closer to the mafia's omerta, or code of silence, rather than to UP's definition of honor. So pagtanggal natin ang karangalan ng UP, hindi yung code of silence nga. We must be courageous in these times, even as we remain prudent and vigilant. While I will not suspend classes, faculty can certainly excuse from classes students who are at risk from violence. 
I ask faculty, students, and staff to help monitor the situation and to report any activity, activity, including those on social media, that might be in violation of our laws and the university's code of student conduct. Together, we will overcome this crisis even as we take long-term measures to address the culture of violence and impunity and now fear-mongering. If we are to fear anything, it is UP's loss of the moral compass and a sense of common decency. So yan ang statement. Statement ko, no? Gusto ko lang dagdagan yung sa mga misogyny, ano, nung, nung nag-meeting uh, kami ng mga frats, no? Uh, Paulit-ulit ako dito, no? I'm sure I said sa mga private conversations, lumitit, lumilitaw itong mga misogynist comments, no? The only thing is they don't post it, no? And, uh, sana naman makakapag-isip sila at tayo rin dito kasi kahit outside sa frats na nga, minsan nangyayari din yan, no? Uh, isipin din ang mga nanay natin, mga kapatid nating babae, no? Uh, whenever we make misogynist comments, we are disrespecting our own, uh, the women in our lives, no? Uh, dinagdag ko rin tungkol sa homophobia, no? <laughs> Medyo diretso ako sa mga frats, no? When you have homophobic statements, you are dishonoring your own brats as well. Tanggapin ng mga frats. Maraming bading sa mga frats. No? Tingnan mo na lang sa circle natin yung mga tarps ng mga noted upsilon. There are several openly gay men there. So when they attack gay men, they are attacking their own brats. So ito ang hamon ko nga sa kanila na it's time to end this crazy homophobia, this crazy misogyny, and this hatred of anyone different from themselves. Kaya kasama dito ang lumad at saka mga Muslims. At alam din niyo kung bakit na inaatake din nila mga Muslims at lumads kasi daw, mas friendly daw ako sa kanila kaysa sa mga frats. Okay. Finally, may fake news na umiikot. Hindi ako upsilon. Pwede ba? Okay. I, uh, I have always been and I am proud of being a barbarian. Alam ninyo yung term, no? Yan ang pagbansag sa mga hindi sumasama sa frats. I am proudly barbarian, if that is the meaning of the word that they want to use. Pero pag-isipan natin, sino ang tutu tutuong bar barbaro? No? So sana uh, tuloy natin ang vigilance, tuloy natin ang mga mass action. Uh, we have to send a strong message. We are not going to take this sitting down. Okay? Maraming salamat.